Hello, all of my followers of Santi Kido channel. How are you? I am fine, thanks to God. Now, in this video, I will show you uh, Python programming functions. The uh, third section or the third uh, part of Python programming about functions. How functions are declared, how functions are called and executed in Python programming language. Let us start the video. Before that, please like share subscribe my video or my channel thank you so what is function in python or at the whole in programming language function is, is a block of codes which only runs when it is called what is called the function is called that means the function name is called the code block or the block of statement is un included or bounded under the function of that function is called function and this function is executed when the function name is called this is how functions in python programming language work or simply when we define a function in python by passing a certain arguments or without arguments and list down some st a block of statements enclosed by that indentation or um, bounded on the function and after we declare this function we execute the function to uh, perform or compute the function so we should call it after we call it the function the when the function is running or when we uh, compile the function or the source code the function is executed that function good so when we create a function in python the function declaration code which is called diff def is a keyword used for function declaration in python good like a uh, class for javas to create a java class we use the keyword class like to that in python programming to create a function we use the keyword called diff def def mm. yeah so this is the keyword used to create a python function then the next one is to call a function use the function name called followed by list of parameters if the parameter is included or found when we declare the function let us see each using uh, diagrammatically this is the keyword diff to create a function then followed by the function name for example this one thing and open and close parenthesis at the end colon in the parenthesis we you may pass list of parameters parameters or without parameters so this is one example of simple function in python programming let us see diff keyword followed by function name thing and then uh, open and close parenthesis and finally the two uh, dots or columns at this point in the inside the parenthesis you can pass a parameter or you can just simply leave it without parameter so in the next line of the function you should indent the line that means you should uh, bound or include list of statements under the function uh, so this way of uh, expression or way of indentation is used for the function all list of statements under the function is enclosed by that function like C++ program we use uh, for function uh, braces to um, announce or to bound list of statements is the part of that function like to that in Python we use indentation that list of statements is under the above function or the above statement uh, so this is list of statements after that we call the function the function to execute the function we should call it so this thing is the function name when we call this without any semicolon uh, parent, uh, colon or whatever and no any followed any uh, uh, termination 
uh, punctuation mark so simply think then open close parentheses if there is list of parameters in the declaration of the function you should pass the list of parameter values when you call it or when you call the function name because uh, if you pass the parameter list of parameters in the definition you should pass it the value of that parameter list of parameter in calling function unless in the other words if you the if the function name is uh, mpt parameter when you call that function there is no need of passing any um, parameter value or argument to that function call print the thing so when we execute this function the output is here hello fun the hello fun that means print hello fun hello fun this one when you call this one this two line of code uh, output is printed then print zip yeah print zip this uh, string value is printed or displayed then when also think the function name is all, uh, again called here and the second way of displaying or two times the function is executed if you add another thing here if you another calling function thing thing so when the code is executed or the when the compiler gets this line of code again another hello fun is also executed this is how functions are declared how functions are called in python programming language good we call this reusable piece of code as functions once you write somewhere and call it or call that function name you can use this uh, or reused this uh, piece of codes this is called the concept of functions good <coughs> There are two ways of functions in Python programming. The first one is built-in function. That means uh, provided as a part of Python, print, input, type, as you see here. This is built-in function Python. This is also built-in function. This is built-in function. This is built-in function. This is built-in function. And the second one is functions that we define in our service or custom functions or user defined functions like in C++, Java and others in Java methods in C++ functions and the like in Python also functions can be created or defined in two ways by using user defined function and already built in functions uh, by calling the built functions of the Python libraries it is already um, de uh, defined somewhere in Python library and after you or when you want to call that function the only step that or the only uh, thing is called that function for example print is already defined in the Python library and when you want to do something display to the screen uh, some information of the your code you can use or call the print method by default print method as it is how it works you don't know what in a mock I felt like a bit. just call it and use it this is built in functions in Python but and user defined functions or functions that defined by our own service is called custom functions or built in functions in this way in this way or in this types of uh, functions you should write down piece of coders that do or perform some tasks for example Fibonacci number display metric or calculate method or whatever any function that you wanted to perform define somewhere and save it when you wanted to do that task or operation you only call the function name by itself and every uh, information or um, processes are performed by your python compiler or interpreter because functions are uh, writing somewhere calling that function and use it using the calling principle this is what you call user defined functions we avoid keywords reserve when you define functions by your own service or custom functions you should care you should take care avoiding keywords or python reserved words like return like float like input like int and the like this is python reserved words so 
do not type or give a name for your custom function python is a reserved keyword good this is the point python a reserved keyword rather you should give your own new names this is how you create custom functions in python good uh, a python in python a function is some reusable code that takes arguments as input does some computations and then returns a result of that computation this is how functions work in python or in other programming language we define a function using the div keyword as i told you before for example let's see in practical uh, python python uh, so after we uh, define this uh, python id or open python id write file and click a new file then write your new python source code like div div um, add for example or display name for example display name call this you um, automatically python compilers um place the second line of your functions line or code indent or included by the upper line of your function so here print print mm, my name is sami take for example sami take the strings should be enclosed using single quote unless in other words it is not allowed in python it is syntax error uh, then to um, to for example here uh, let a equal to five let a equal to five here if a if if a uh, less than five here a should be yeah if it is than five print some take here execute the display function to dis to execute the function you should call that function name display name save it save it mm. okay then one dot py you should be uh, give the name of your file with dot py extension then run it run it expected semicolon here yeah after the condition is checked run it uh, expected indent block if statement is yeah that's it again mm. print this is out of function this is out of function here again print what about this one mm. yeah it should be single cut okay good this is out of function this is inside the function this is how python functions work uh, or how we declare python functions and execute python functions so in, this is function declaration or function mm, yeah, function definition and this is function call this is function call to execute this function you should call the function understand otherwise the function by itself does not execute by itself good uh, let us pass to the next one let us pass to the next one in python a function is some reserve codes as i told you we define function using the diff keyword as i told you before we call the or invoke the function by using the function name parenthesis and argument if there is uh, some list of parameters in function definition you should include or pass a value in your calling a function parenthesis inside the parenthesis uh let's see this big equal to max of hello world this is argument this is argument 
this is the function name this is the variable that holds the function um, the call function result the call function result let's see big equal to max of yellow world print big the output of this is uh, lower to this big variable and when we print the big this value is displayed that means this one this one or the result t equal to mean of yellow world this is the argument and this is the function name and the output of this function name function is lower to this variable when we print this this variable the output is displayed good uh, max the function for example big equal to max of yellow world print big like that of the previous one the same is true here uh, diff max of imp blah 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 for x in np exists blah 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 and the like so type conversion in python or casting from one data type to another data type let us see here print float of 99 over 100 meaning uh, 0.99 uh by default 99 is integer so when we cast it or convert it to float the output should be 0 0.99 unless it has the right the result is zero let us see practical in our ide in our ide here mm, just comment it comment it comment it using multi line comment and here uh, print print 99 over uh, 100 what will be the output let us see save and run it save and run 0 0.99 by default it converts to uh, float value it converts to float value let if a equal to 8 a equal to the 8 c equal to a a over 10 for example print c what will be the output print c save it and run it 0 0.8 same to by default it converts to float uh, formally it should be converted or casted to float but or by default automatically it casts from integer to float by python library just i equal to 42 <coughs> for example here to now or to see what is the value of type type of c run it uh, type of i for example type of the social type type it is cured run it yeah uh, type of c mm, it should be display here for example type type of c uh, the value of c is float or the class is float let z equal to 90 type that ah, class it is integer so we when we want to divide x equal to z over uh, 10 z over 10 print uh, or here what is the value of x here type x the class is float because z is 90 90 over 10 oh, 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 90 over 100 what will be the value of mm, 100 and here what will be the value of x i think it should be um, float here yeah Float again. Uh, so this y is used to cast or now the data type value or the data type type which types of data type or class is it that value? And the like is uh, used to now the data types value or convert one data type to another data type. Data type.
good uh, let's uh, see string conversion for example this val is equals to one two three type of val it is a string let's see it and concatenate it or add to another uh, value for example here uh, a equal to in single quote under single quote name name let z or q equal to a plus five a plus five it is impossible because the value of e is a string and the value and five is number number plus a uh, string plus number is not allowed in python or it is it is not uh, allowed to concatenate string with numbers so you should first convert the string data or the integer data to the same type so here q or q equal to end of end of what a plus five again it is not possible it is not possible so first uh, it is better to convert it the same data type the same data type uh, so mm, yeah a string uh, okay what first first you should cast or uh, convert to another data type q is equals to int of a what's the problem in value literal for int with base 10 name Mm, a equals to name yes then next one uh, say mm, in as a new let z equal to name mm, x equal to 7 c equal to z plus x z plus x or z concatenate with x it is impossible so z or v equal to end of z end of z line number one with base 10 invalid literal for int mm, no 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 uh, it is allowed the guy is around type string with a print is the value int of swap c equals to z equals int of z equals int of z uh, 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 okay. Oh, too sorry. Mm -hmm. That is a mistake. There is a mistake. Sorry. Mother uh, Gallab and Mundano. Major Maria Z equal to a hen cotorno. A hen string in a single cost. It direct. So this string value. When we wanted to concatenate to another number, it is impossible. So x equal to 90. When we concatenate c equal to z plus x, it is impossible. To, so, to fix this or to concatenate z with x, first we should change the value, the literal value of z to another or into number 4. So v equal to int of d, int of z. Then after that, C C equal to uh, Z plus X not Z V V plus X when we print when we print the value of C we print the value of C two one three two one three what does in uh, yeah yeah one hundred and three plus ninety it is two hundred thirty it is 230 that means katta medemmer yihonal malatnu katta medemmer yihonal malatnu eziga print sorry 
print what no v comma single cut space comma uh, x comma single cut space single cut comma uh, what the value c c uh, here we can uh, put here and here we can add this one. yeah 100 23 plus 90 equal to 230 yemil operation yemat alanal mat no so to concatenate one data type to another data type you should use uh, data uh, conversion methods or functions uh, good what is next here if the cost interface it is not possible it is not possible in order to integer make here actually malet actually uh, function of our own scout a natural as a built-in function for example type type if built-in function no print built-in function no uh, and somewhere 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 where is it yeah and end of this argument it is also built-in functions when come to our own functions or custom functions we follow um, basic rules of identifiers in other program language and in Python also and other programming languages like so uh, build our own our own functions we create a new function using the keyword div the keyword div uh, followed by the optional parameters in the parentheses it is optional if you wanted to pass some variables or some list of values of that parameter you can List down list of parameters. So let's end as the rest without pa parameter. You can create or define your functions with MPT para parentheses. Just um, this defines the function but does not execute the body of the function. Now, as you define our general function, you can execute all of them. If function execute the function, you can execute all of them. If function execute the function, function name one call the function. If function name one, you can execute all of them. This is the default word this is a custom name of that function the custom name of that function or the function so after we uh, declare or write down the first line this line the second line e should be indent one step or when one wait step wait space that means this line is included under these functions this is what the indentation is <coughs> good print lyrics is in the low when other gillen alma letter and as you will have to statement touch tamal is video display marriage in general martin which you calling it upon a dash martin call 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 in that alarm martin x equal to 5 print hello div print lyrics this two lines of code and when we print yo and when we call this print method or function this two line of code is displayed displayed this is how functions are declared and how functions are called to execute that function in custom uh, functions in python good definition and uses definition and uses of python let's see with example in example for example for example here uh, a new mm, let diff add or sorry let name names and here uh, after indent it is necessary to uh, list down list of statement this under the function so you should indent first uh, then print let print with single page and uh, single code uh, new line print edge equal to H equal to single quote comma 10 single quote 10 
uh, and then it is enough call the function name here call the function name here colon is necessary after defining function name yeah when we execute this line of code this line of code it displays these two outputs uh, names okay okay this is s this is s yeah ababa edge equal to t but when we remove this when we remove this and execute this one there is no any output no any output yeah no any output so to execute this function you should call that function you should call that function yeah this is the output this is the output <coughs> uh, this is custom functions what how custom functions work good uh, then the next one the next one is once we have defined the function we call or invoke it as many times as we can and then now call by the regular function when we call it the compiler or the interpreter executes the function when we call it it executes again the function when we call it it executes again the functions this is how calling works in python let's see x equal to 5 print hello diff print lyrics this two line of code is the body of the function the body function print here yeah, print lyrics x equal to x plus 2 print x uh, okay this is hello yo hello yo this is the first output this one this is this display this two line of display is for the function this when we call when we uh uh, we, when we call the function name here this two line of display is displayed then after this execution this when we print this line of code this output is displayed this is how custom functions work in python good uh, what is argument is in python an argument is the value we pass into the function as it is input in the raw material in the raw material what we call uh, raw input to perform some operation or computation this is what arguments in python on in uh, functions as a whole so we use arguments so we can direct the function to do different kinds of works when we call it in different times because of their calling arguments passing arguments we put the arguments in parentheses after the name of the function like this big equal to max of hello world this is argument inside the parentheses is uh, argument you can pass a number of arguments one two and n times many times there's no new problem let's see here a parameter is a variable which we use in the function definition it is a handle that allows the code in the function to access the arguments or a particular function when we invoke that function let's see here diff great lang lang is an argument if lang equal to equal to es print hello hello else if lang equal to equal to fr print bonjour else print hello without es and fr any input when you feed or when you pass as a value the output is this one the output is this one let's see in uh, practice let's see in practice just open our id first open our id first here uh, give comment for uh, the previous example the previous example and uh, define new function diff calculation 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 uh, let's pass the operator let's let pass the operator uh, op op our function or our function uh, re, um, expect some operator and after we give you the operator our operation is uh, performed let's see here if mm, just yeah if op equal to equal to op equal to equal to op equal to equal to in single quote plus plus uh, uh, first it is 
necessary yeah we can uh, define variables in line with when we want to use it directly uh, uh, when we, uh, defining a variable and using that variable at the same time in python it is allowed so sum equal to sum equal to let a uh, plus b let a plus but we we should give the value of that uh, yeah the value of these two variables a equal to 100 mm, b equal to <coughs> sorry 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 a 100 b equal to 50 then if a o p o p equal to equal to uh, plus operator sum equal to a plus b print print the sum is colon quotation comma sum sum we can cut in the result of the operation to the sum is statement good uh elif 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 op equal to equal to uh, minus sign minus sign mm, minus sign print what print sorry div equal to div that means difference a minus b a minus b here print print the difference the difference is colon co uh, quotation single quote comma diff single quote diff good uh, let scroll up it or we can remove this part this part yeah uh, then next on elif elif op equal to equal to under single quote multiplication multiplication we should put colon here uh, pro that means product equal to a times b a times b print print the product is colon quote single quote comma pro pro mm, then here uh elif elif op equal to equal to equal to equal to what the last one is multiplication multiplication uh, divider i think divider equal to a over b a over b a over b print print the divider is colon comma uh, sorry quotation colon div and include the quotation and parenthesis finally elif elif we can add more um, conditions if you want to another arithmetic operator for example modules elif elif op equal to equal to uh, modulus 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 uh, reminder rami equal to a modulus b a modulus b print um, reminder reminder colon quotation comma rami yeah finally else else whatever the above condition is not satisfied if for example put you put number or other string characters what will be the uh, decision or the condition that satisfied is not on the above condition um, it should be displayed the following information print print the entered character or operator is not arithmetic operator arithmetic operator operator yeah this is finished 
then finally after you define your function or create your function you should uh, execute or call it the function unless in other words your function is not executed let's see uh, run this code and see what will be happen run it no okay there is a problem here what is an indent doesn't match any other con uh, indentation an indent that means uh, mm, 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 uh, let's see. for example this one okay back to this the same indentation level should be the same uh, privilege or the same uh, uh, operation save it run it again <laughs> let clear it this one and run it again as a new and see what will be happen yeah please enter the operator for example plus sign the syntax incomplete incomplete input incomplete input what does mean uh, if op equal to mm, 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 mm. the function not called the function is not called to execute this function so you should be called your function what you do or uh, is here copy the, your function name in order to reduce the risk of error happening then call the function when you call your function you should be pass one operator you should be pass one operator like this one uh, plus plus this one when we save it and execute our uh, source code the first condition is satisfied then the output looks like this one looks like this one let's see how it works uh, this called function when the execution starts this called the function back to your main function and start this execution here and when uh, during the execution the first condition is satisfied that means op op equal to uh, plus sign then sum equal to uh, a plus b then print the sum is this one is displayed this is how functions are work in python just change this one change this one as uh, modulus sign that means modulus sign means this condition is true the remaining the upper condition is false so uh, what will be happen this is passed and at this line is satisfied then this output is uh, executed and displayed that means a is 100 100 over 50 equal to 2 so the remainder is zero. Let's see the output. Let's see the output. Yeah, the remainder is zero. What will be happen if this one is uh, 26, 20, 100 over 26, modulus 26. Run it, save it and run it. Yeah, remainder is 22, 22. Uh, what will be if it is sorry, sorry, run it. 100 modulus 3, 1. 33 years now, 33 times 3, uh, 99 plus 1, uh, 100. Let's see here. I mean, this A modulus B. Mm, display on, yeah, here. Comma, I remember before that. <coughs> uh, A, comma, quotation equal to. Mm, sorry yeah a comma quotation uh, space quotation comma b comma uh, quotation comma quotation comma that means 100 here mm, modulus this side modulus sorry equal to this one equal to uh, equal to um, equal to what is this um, a over b we can comma a over b comma quotation equal to here uh, 
this one value we call this value and the uh, remainder equal to colon remainder save it and see what will be the output what will be the output save run it uh, what is the problem b yeah save it run it a remainder this is for this this one this is modulus for this b uh, for this oh uh, yeah cottage colon comma is necessary here run it yeah this is output 100 modulus 3 equal to 33 33 33 and the remainder is 1 the remainder is 1 we can uh, cast it as int of this value we can recast it in integer to display the integer part yeah 33 times 3 99 plus 1 101 so here you can add more you can add more print print uh, what the value of remainder rami plus uh, plus mm, plus 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 a over b the value of int a over b value times times what b times b that means a equal to you can here see a comma uh, single code equal to single code comma this one yes save it run it you can get the original value 100 yeah 100 equal to 100 to check the operation is uh, correct or not we can do by this so within this line of code show show line number within 24 line of code you can back this 23 line of code we can uh, declare or create a function that calculates the arithmetic operation or computers or arithmetic uh, computation of two numbers this is uh, how to create built-in functions in python our id here uh, op close with a comment and diff diff new function uh, fun to fun to here uh, what val mm, if 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 val equal to equal to what single value uh, equal to equal to first f for it or a print here yeah space is necessary parent here you are first you are first else elif elif val equal to equal to what b equal to equal to b uh, print print what you are second you are second else else uh, yeah at the end of each condition if else colon is necessary else print what else print uh, no no information no information is given you can say this after that after that you should call the function fun underscore to and pass value of that function because when you define a function you pass one value as an argument or as a parameter so after you uh, completing the function and when you want to call that function you should pass the value of that parameter just here um, for example val as it is and when we save it and execute this colon is necessary here actually okay when it run it no information no information display when we when you pass this as f again and run it 
no information again but when we pass b here what is the output uh, guess it i think this condition satisfies so the uh, displayed information is you are second is displayed right here execute yes you are second you are second this is how parameters and functions you uh, work in python uh, good so the second one is how uh, to um, pass the many arguments in python uh, so let us see in practice in practice uh, open our id and then uh, close this uh, function with a comment with a comment and define a new function diff uh, pass to uh, paras parameters let a uh, or yeah let uh, the parameter should uh, or may have val1 comma val2 val1 comma val2 uh, colon then after here if if uh, if val sorry uh, if if val1 equal to equal to val2 val2 mm, print print you are the same you are the same else or elf yeah else print different print print you are different Mm, eh, you are different when we call this function when you call fun this function uh, just to remove or reduce the problem of error copy it and paste and pass the value of the first two argument for example one comma two one comma two this means the value of the first uh, the value of this parameters is integer one and two but this is different so the second one is executed let us see when we run it run it yeah you are different but when we pass it as two two comma two two comma two run it again see what the output yeah you are the same because the first and the second argument value is the same what about the first argument is integer and the second argument is uh, the second argument is um, a string how let's see if val1 equal to equal to val2 uh, and and val1 equal to no val1 greater than 80 just it is uh, good uh, logic if val1 greater than 80 and val1 mm, val2 let val2 equal to uh, let uh, mail with a single quote a single quote you are uh, you are you are above 80 and young man young man else you are mm, and should be that you uh, uh, should be satisfied i'll send as the rest the second or here we can add elif elif val one greater than or less than less than or equal to 80 or the equal to sign should come on the above statement okay here less than 80 and val2 equal to equal to should be double equal sign for a comparison and the single uh, equal sign is uh, used to assign values for a variable equal to equal to woman or female 
female uh, print print what print you are female and less than 80 less than 80 let's run it else you are different or uh, the criteria the criteria is not satisfied not satisfied you can display this message but for the passing you should pass based on your argument this data type the first one is integer the second one is uh, a string so in the second one you can pass here Tony and for the, sec the, the second parameter value you can pass at mail mail uh, save it and run it what will be the output uh, this condition is satisfied i think let us see what is the output mm, what's the problem yeah single quote is necessary here yeah single quote single quote is necessary save it and run it again good you are above 80 and young man this condition is satisfied and this output is displayed what will be this one is 10 what will be the value of the first parameter or the argument value is 10 what will be satisfied or which condition satisfied let us see the output run it and see the output okay the creator is not satisfied because 10 here 10 greater than equal to 80 false pass it if well less than or equal to 80 10 less than or equal to 80 true and val equal to equal to female no it is male so this is also passed and the last condition is not any condition is not satisfied this one is printed this line of code is printed so this is uh, displayed what will be which condition is satisfied to display female the second condition should be satisfied that means the past argument should be greater than 80 greater than oh uh, sorry mm, let's 70 and this value should be female this value should be female female let's save it and run it what will be is displayed yeah you are female and less than 80 is displayed so you can use your custom uh, defined functions in python based on these principles you declare it you should be take care about your indentation diff is and uh, sorry this is under if this if clause or if statement this if statement is under the function and 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 after this but finally your call function should be out of the brace like uh, the same stage or the same uh, level of indentation to your functions declaration uh, less than otherwise you may get an error so please take care about your indentation in python good uh, let us see the next one mm, return value what is return value in python often a function will take its argument do some computations and return a value to the called function when you are called it and execute your function the return keyword is to return a value return a keyword value no return the other color like that of diff it is a reserved keyword for python and uh, the program like two so diff great this is a function return hello return is a keyword to return a value for this function so print great print great greeny greeny hello greeny hello sally this is how uh, return values work a uh, fruitful function is a function that produces a result or returns value to the called function um, but the return statement indexes the function execution and sends back the result of that function to the called function this is how return works the output of this return is called to this function and when we call this function this output is displayed this output is displayed like this one great 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 center value display you on the model good uh, argument parameters and results diff max imp blush blush for x in imp 
np بلاش بلاش ريتن دبل اور ستري بارامتر سو ملتيبل بارامترز كان يو كان باس از اي شو يو ان ذا بريفيوس اكزامبل فانكشن اور نوت فانكشن اورجانيز يور كول انت باراجرافز كابتشر كومبليكت اوت اند نيم ات دونت ريبيت يور سيلف ميك ات ورك وانس اند ذن ريز ات اف سامثينغ جيتس تو لونج اور كومبليكس بريك ات اب انت لوجيكال تشانكس اند بوت ذيس تشانكس ان فانكشن in function simplify your problem in many functions and when you wanted to call or use that function you can call by its function call uh, function name simply so make a library of a common stuff that you do over and over perhaps share this with your friends once you define it you can share that library and their friends or your colleagues or your um partners can use your code by calling on or simply calling your function because your function once defined you can use anywhere by including your function as a library in your header file good as a summary how functions are declared and executed or uh, called uh, built-in functions or python built-in functions or uh, uh, functions that is included in your python library Uh, type is, type of conversion float into like these strings also when we cover in this video um, the string conversion is parameters function with parameter and without parameter with parameter single parameter and multi parameter with different data type we uh, already uh, discussed in this video arguments values result uh, fruitful function and non fruitful functions with a void return type uh, it is an unfruitful but if you have a return type it is a uh, fruitful function why use functions we use functions to reuse your code somewhere anywhere when you want to call or when you want to uh, use that source of code you can simply call your function name and perform your problem this is all about this today's video Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you. We will get uh, made by another video of the, of the next topic of Python lesson. Thank you.